Hello everybody, this is Joanne from Wexford Library and today we're going to celebrate Positive Aging Week with um, an introduction to a technique of art called pointillism. Now, pointillism was developed in the 1800s by an artist called Georges Chura. And as you can see in our first picture here, this is a picture called Le Grand Jat. In this picture, Seurat uses dots of pure colour to create an optical mixing effect, which again produces really luminous colours. So when I say pure colour, I mean he's used dots of a red and a blue, for example, that will give you a purple. So when you stand far away from that image, you see a purple colour. Now there's other artists as well that have used this technique too in the 1800s and that was Paul Signac and we can see here in his image. Another artist as well that we're all very familiar with is Van Gogh and this is Van Gogh's self-portrait. Now Van Gogh was a little bit different to Georges Seurat and Signac in the fact that he tried to create depth in his pictures with the direction of his strokes as you can see over the nose on the self-portrait. But unfortunately, with the introduction of this dot method, this pointless method, they also lack texture and depth. Now, I'm going to show you an example of a pointless painting that I've done myself over here. So we are going to work on something this size here, and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to create that. So I've used some watercolour based paints, and I just have four colours here. I also use a little bit of yellow too. I've used some cotton buds and I also use a pencil to draw out my design and then just a plate which was used to put the paint onto. So first of all with your pencil you just need to draw out the shape, the design, the drawing that you're going to concentrate on. So for example if you're just drawing a circle, we'll just draw the circle and I'm going to show you very quickly how we fill that circle in using the dot method. So there's our green. And we're going to a little bit of black just to create a darker green. And our Q-tip. A little bit of water. And we'll mix those colours up just to create a darker green in the centre here. So I have a darker green mixed with the black and just a little bit more black now. So the darker tone there and then we have a lighter tone here. So just with the Q-tip, so just with the Q-tip now, just take a tiny little bit of water just to spread it a bit better. And we're just going to take our darker green. Q-tips are great, they really work really well for the dots. And we're just going to, on one side of the paper here on the card, and make sure you use a card as well, because the card will soak up all the water in the paint. If your paper quality is too thin with the overlay of dots, we may end up with tears and holes. So we need to keep us a nice thick card or a canvas or a piece of board. But again, the Q-tip works really, really well. Just dots all over. Now I'm going to use the other side of the Q-tip and we're going to introduce the lighter green. So we just load it up with paint and then dot, dot, dot. And it's just one dot after the other, but it's very relaxing and very soothing, quite meditative. So as you can see, we have a lighter tone in the centre and a darker tone to the outside. Now we're going to choose a darker black again and we're just going to put a few dots on the exterior, very on the very edge of it. So we're trying to create some tone here. Now, depth, as I said, is very difficult to create when you're using the dot method. And that's what lacked in the images of Signac and Sora. But again, like I said, Van Gogh tried to introduce depth into his with the direction of his strokes. So again, we're going to use a little lighter section over here. So we're going to take some white and we're going to try and create a lighter section to one side. So we're trying to create depth and tones we take another Q-tip, tiny bit of water, and we just spread out our paint. And we're going to mix the green with a little bit of white just to create a lighter tone. Now we're cheating a little bit 
because Sinyak and Sura wouldn't have used tonal colours when they were producing their pieces of artwork. They would have used more white and perhaps less green and they would have made the dots a lot closer together. They would have used, if they were creating an orange for example, they would have used perhaps more yellow and less red. So it was the closeness and the intensity of those dots as well to create the tonal images or optical illusions as the viewer stood back. They see those changes taking place. So we go for a lighter tone and this is our lighter tone. So it's just layers of dots filling up the space. So as you can see the different tones there, so again from a distance you can see the tones blending in, the hues coming into one. So I have worked this method in the image that you see here. So I have darker tones on the very last, they were the last pieces that I put in here was the darker tones here. And I worked from a lighter tone up to a darker tone. Now on the tree itself, I actually tore the top of the cotton off the bud and I have an actual smaller area here that I use as a dot. So I'll just show you that how that works. So again, you take it off, you just take off the cotton and you're left with a smaller area. So that's your smaller area. So this is what you're left with, a much smaller dot. So I've used those then because I had a tighter area here to fill in. Um, that's basically it. Now take a little while for it to dry because the paint is quite thick on that. Now you can use acrylics, you can use poster paint, even if you have markers or colouring pencils, you can actually use those as well as you dot along. It'll take a little bit longer, but I thought this size was pretty good to actually fill up this page, fill up the space. Um, this size card, I think for starters, would be very... Um, reasonable to use because like I said it does take a while and don't worry about building up your dot on dot building your layers on top of that so that's basically all we have for today and um, I'd love to see your works of art using this pointless technique uh, sit down take your time have a cup of tea or a coffee or a glass of wine if you'd like to put on the radio put on your favorite CD and just work away and don't worry too much if it doesn't work the first time Perhaps just a little bit of experimentation first might work and then decide maybe in the next hour or two you have uh, what design you'd like to use and come back to it the next day or three days later. Don't rush it all in one go. Um, but that's it now. So I hope you can have a look out maybe when you're here in Maxford Library um, for our beautiful art books, Pointillism um, or Divisionism as it's called as well sometimes or post impressionism. So thanks very much for watching and hopefully we'll see you all soon sometime. Bye now.